Hey, this is Tim from Harrison Consoles. Today I'm going to show you how to import tracks into Mixbus. Now this is an important feature if you're working with a collaborator that doesn't use Mixbus or bringing in tracks from another DAW to mix. You could also use it to add additional instrumentation or sound effects to your Mixbus session. The first thing we're going to want to do is select the Audio Setup tab when setting up our session and we want to change our sample rate for the material that we're importing. Uh, this specifically is from a session that I recorded in town at 48 kilohertz, so I'm going to select that as my sample rate for the session. And I'm going to name my session something really easy uh, so that I'll know exactly what it is. So this is for the song Don't Tell Me, and this is the mix session that I'm doing in Mixbus. The first thing that I'll want to do once I have my session loaded is to select Session, Import. This brings up the Import dialog box, which looks the same across all three platforms of Mixbus, Linux, OS X, and Windows. Now, depending upon which operating system you use, this might look a little bit different uh, than it does in other DAWs for your specific platform. Um, I'm on OS X, so in order to get my tracks off of my external hard drive, I'm going to want to select Volumes. And then here I can see my external hard drive, my flash drive, and the local uh, hard drive on my computer. So I'm bringing these in from my external. And I have a folder called Sessions that I usually import stuff from. So what I can do in Mixbus is I can actually make this a shortcut so that I don't have to uh, navigate over to this sessions folder each time I'll have a little shortcut down here and I do that simply by selecting the folder and just add it to my shortcuts so I've got sessions right here it just brings up my sessions for me right from my external hard drive so don't tell me is the song I'm working with and these are all the tracks that I took off of the computer that I recorded on so going through these tracks if we click on each track, we can see in the dialog over here, it gives us some information. Uh, the channels, it gives us one, that means it's a mono track. Uh, it tells us the sample rate, the format, the length. We can also audition any of the tracks in this dialog box simply by selecting one and then clicking on the play button. So the track that we're uh, auditioning begins to play in the import dialog, and we can control the volume here with this fader. We can also set these tracks to autoplay by selecting this option here. And now any track that I select in the dialog box will automatically play. stop that. So for this session here, I know that I'm going to want to import all of the tracks, but I don't want to import them all as mono tracks. You can see I've got a little, I've got two different uh, mono overhead tracks here. Oops, turn off autoplay. I've got two mono tracks here for my overheads, and I want to import those as stereo, so I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, I know that I'm going to want to import all of these tracks. In order to take out the tracks that I know I want to import as stereo, I just hold Command or Control on Windows, and I can go ahead and click on them to deselect them. Once I have all of the tracks I would like to import selected, I click on Apply, and it brings them into the session. And now I want to import the overheads as stereo. So what I do is I select one and then hold command to select the other. Now Mixbus takes the first track alphabetically and imports that as the left track. So you really don't have anything to worry about if you go ahead and name your tracks left and right, as I've done here. These are for the overheads. So I named one overhead left, overhead L, and one overhead R, overhead right. So they automatically fall 
alphabetically where they need to to be imported as a stereo file onto Mixbus. It's definitely a good idea to name them left and right anyway so you don't get confused. In order to import these tracks as one stereo track, under Mapping, I'll select Merge Files, and then click Apply to import that in there. When I'm done importing all of the tracks that I need for my session, I just click Cancel. And now I have a full session's worth of tracks in Mixbus.